we go again. Uh, Minneapolis, another police shooting up there. What happens? Dude gets pulled over by the police. Police inform him that he has a warrant out for his arrest. Instead of saying, okay, guys, you got me. Now, what does he do? He goes and gets in his car, wants to go take off. They say he's on the phone with his mama. His mama's telling him, don't run from the police or words to that effect. I just read it briefly because I got a split. But anyway, he jumps in his car, takes off, ends up in a wreck, gets shot, he dies, and people are out doing their usual dumb shit. All the guy had to do is said, okay, you got me. And he would still be alive today, but nah, he wants to go out here and be stupid. You run from the police, they are going to bring an ass whooping with them. In this case, he got shot. Ten miles from uh, where uh, the George Floyd thing happened at. Are people ever going to learn? Quit being stupid. You know, just quit doing dumb stuff. And there are so many thugs out here that keep the lawmakers doing what they do, creating new laws that are just stupid because of crooks, because of criminals. The police are so aggressive because of all these thugs, all these criminals, gangs. People just quit being stupid and doing dumb stuff all the time. The police work would be the most boring line of work in the world if people just behave themselves and quit doing dumb stuff. Before Biden's out of office, I'm looking for this country to end up in another civil war. So are many other people. This uh, trial they got up there in Minneapolis, regardless of what way it goes, there's going to be riots in Minneapolis. There's going to be riots in Minneapolis because of this latest one. Quit doing stupid stuff. You know, I mean, uh, hell, Chris Rock did a thing years ago called How Not to Get Your Ass Kicked by the Police. And they show some things on there. Interesting, but effective. I got to get to work. Millions of people depend on people like me. Bye.